Siki. Hello viewers, I'm Tosin Kolade, your host for today, and this is CEO Hangout. So we have a guest who's an entrepreneur, and so I'd like you to introduce yourself. I'm Kenneth Abrak Ibrahim, CEO Abrak Remet International. Nice to meet you, Kenneth. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, so can you tell us a little more about yourself? Okay, um, I'm a lucky child in the midst of two girls, two beautiful ladies. Wow. Yes, um, I'm Baju by tribe from Kaduna State. Nice. Yes, and I graduated from Olibello University mm -hmm. where I studied industrial design. Okay. Graduated 2015, went for service 2017. And I'm back there for my master's, the same course, industrial design, specializing on graphics at the same Amadi Bello University. Wow. So, um, being a graphic designer, where did the idea of fashion design come in? Why, why fashion design and why did you decide to take it up as a profession? Okay, um, aside from just the graphics, um, I love dressing, I love clothes, I love quality and good clothes. Mm. And while during my undergraduate, I happens to, I was fortunate to be in one of the big fashion um, design group in my school, which is incomparable. Mm. And I started as a model. Mm. From there, I I know I got like two awards of modeling, wow. one from Kaduna Fashion Show and one from Incomparable. Wow. And my course industrial design, it's. When we start, we start as basic, both uh, textile, graphics, ceramic. So we, I have that little knowledge on textile, textile and fashion, mm -hmm. and from there, 300 level, I proceeded to graphics. Wow. Yeah, so that really helped me. My knowledge on graphics, both manual and digital, really helped me to build myself as a fashion designer. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Thank so um where how do you apply your knowledge of graphic design into fashion design okay um graphic design has to do with designs okay. design on any aspect but aside from that i'm someone who loves designing i love sketching hmm. i can just any mom anytime i love to draw i love to sketch i uh, I've been sketching shirts, I've been um, designing shirts, mm -hmm. aside from just being from school aspects on my own. So most people like also um, bring this to reality. Do this, do this. At a point, I know sometimes I do prints just for a little token there in school, but later on, I was like, okay, I need to push this ahead. I need to like inculcate all this together to start up my fashion design company. So that really greatly helped me and I really thank God for the skills and the experience I had before. Wow, so um, being a fashion designer, we all know that fashion design is very broad. But what aspect do you specialize in? Are you a consultant? Do you style for people? Do you make clothing alike, and maybe in, as a tailor? Or you just design clothing? I consult for people. I also um, make designs for people as well, but for my own company, I do the consultation, I do the designs, I have few people who do designs with me, I supervise the production and also the packaging and the uh, media aspect of it. Mm. So um, the graphics helps me after my works and I do uh, my packaging, I do my uh, my media works, the marketing and so on and so forth. So yes, I do everything myself. Wow, that's that's amazing. Yeah. So um, any challenges so far? Definitely there should be challenges. Yeah, like yeah, there should be challenges. Um, uh, I know I have challenges of um, limited um, manpower. Hmm. Uh, also have uh, uh, challenges of uh, equipment but um, I don't see that as a yastic yes it's just um, a, a way of pushing further I once have challenges of uh, uh, from a client um, should I say yes uh, delay in delivery okay. which uh, is due to the pandemic mm. but 
at the long run i was able to talk to the customer and i went ahead to even slash the money just for him to have my product because you having my product is a win-win for me and yes wow so how long have your clothing line been in existence um abrak Raymond officially uh came into being uh this year we started okay. officially this year before we used to operate um just normal uh, uh casual and so on and so forth but officially we opened this year okay. yes so um any achievements or is there any project you guys have worked on or you are currently working on uh, we have um worked on so many projects and currently we are still working on so many projects as well mm -hmm. yes yes and we are still open for more bigger projects okay but what um, achievements have you guys had so far or what will i say what's the sparking moment or the greatest achievement for you i know it's been a short time yes but is there any takeaway so far that you've learned from would like to know okay um it's just more of um sales okay yes um some clients will uh like a contract they will give to do for a particular occasion and to me that's an achievement because mm -hmm. i know it's a process yeah, yeah, it's a process yeah, yeah. so to me that's an achievement i've okay. done that a lot and we are still doing that and we are expecting the bigger uh project, project. to come okay like you've had you have a benchmark of sales you would like to make and then you're able to hit it of course of oh, course we are good with that okay. you know in business um uh, uh time factors matters mm -hmm. and service delivery is a key so uh, we don't joke with that and um, also cost, uh, customer um uh, uh, relation and so on and so forth we don't joke, we don't joke with that that's why we tend to work with time and to respect time wow. so where do you see yourself in like five years in five years um i see myself uh, uh at the midst of people like in channels oh. the versaches uh wow. and so on and so forth because i don't i can't just limit myself to just nigeria we have um bigger dreams bigger targets and uh, I'm just limiting myself to just Nigeria or Africa. I'm seeing myself international. Wow, it would be nice to have a clothing line from Kaduna hit big guys overseas. Yes, we'll, 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 go, we'll go far and we'll explore the Nigerian culture, the Nigerian fabrics, the Nigerian mm. um, attires. we we'll use it to, to, to create better and quality stuff for the world to see and to benefit from. Wow. So, um, what would you like to tell any entrepreneur or would like to say anyone with the dream and has not put anything into action what would you like to tell them as a word of advice you know sometimes um we uh, entrepreneurs let's say upcoming entrepreneurs mm -hmm. um, we tend to use um capital as a yardstick mm -hmm. for um delay or procrastination and so on and so forth but I don't see that as a challenge. I don't really see that as a challenge. You start from somewhere. The major thing is for you to make a step. Mm. It's just for you to make a step. Mm. You can't just expect to be great within the sprinkle of an eye. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You have to put on effort. And there's this thing most people lack, especially upcoming entrepreneurs, which is um, the law of process. Mm. In everything you do, it's process, it's yeah. time. And you have to... Um, uh, uh, you have to be prepared, you have to be committed to any obstacle, mm -hmm. you understand? Don't see it as a challenge, just see it as a motivation and major things you just have to do, be focused. Once you have that focus, um, I don't think those things should be a challenge to you or those things should weigh you down. You should always have that mindset of creating values and service delivery and uh, value delivery as well. Okay. Yes. Wow. That's really amazing. So, um, will I say I overheard you discussing with someone, you were talking about this COVID-19 collection or something you had on ground. And I was yeah. curious, and now that we have such platform, I think it would be nice to share with us, what, what do you mean by COVID-19 collection? What's that about? 
Uh, actually, um, the whole thing is I started this within the uh, pandemic, okay. the like I said, the Corona or the COVID nineteen, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, which we are still in. But uh, you know, some see it as a setback. Some see it as a setback. Some might say they lose their job, they lose uh, capital, they lose this and that. But yeah. I never really see that as a challenge. I just see that as an opportunity. Mm. Yes, to start. So I started within the period and I started with shirt and I tag those shirts as COVID collection. Mm. Yeah, because I started during the pandemic period and because of the pandemic period, which really changed our mode of dressing, uh, you hardly see someone dressing without marks these days. True. And most of my shirts come with marks. Mm. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, the whole Corona, the whole COVID-19 has... Um, make our mode of dressing incomplete without face masks wow. so i most of my shirts come with face masks and because of that i tend to um i tag these uh, covid collections wow. yeah so wow. most of the collection i've been doing most of them are covid collections wow i think i would like to have a matching shirt with a face mask on a face mask on and i think you guys would like the same too so um thank you so much kenneth ibrahim for coming to the show thank you Kirsten. okay and it's a pleasure okay wow well, thank you so um i believe you guys would have questions or you would like to find out more about him his social media handle will be displayed on the screen so that you can find out or find out for yourselves where he is, whatever it is you want to pick from his experience, especially those of you who are fashion designers, you can ask directly from him because I don't think I've covered all the questions you have in mind. And once again, I'm Tosin Kolade. Stay tuned for the next edition next week of CEO's Hangout. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can get notification of our next episode. See you next time.